So welcome to this FSI tutorial for uh, the simulation in LSDyna of a square channel. As you can see the test case which is presented in this slide, uh, the channel is quite a simple shape and inside however there is a flap which is made up of shell elements and uh, the idea of the simulation in LSDyna is going to basically have a look at how with FSI, the flap deforms under certain uh, boundary conditions and constraints. In terms of the parameters of the simulation, you can see that the inlet velocity is going to be 500 millimeters per second. Um, and as well, the properties of the fluid and the structure are going to be quite clearly defined. For the leaflet, what you can see is that it will be constrained when it is in contact with the square channel. And as well, the type of constraint it will have will be a pinned one. So as a pin joint, it will be free to rotate in X, Y, and Z. But however, it will be constrained in terms of movement. What we're going to do now is simply save a new project once we've opened the ANSYS workbench. And this project, we're simply going to call it Square Channel. Now once we've saved that project and everything has been loaded, what we have to do is go into component systems on your left hand side and open the geometry module. And now once we've dragged it, we just have to double click on geometry to open the ANSYS design modeler. Now that we're in the design modeler, the first thing we're going to do is using the wheel click button of the mouse, we're going to reorient the axis system to make sure that it's in the same orientation as our uh, problem. And here you see we've put it in the right direction. And once that's done, what we're going to have to do is select the plane which we want to work in here, which is the XY plane. And once we've selected it, we go into the sketching mode and we're going to create our first shape, which here is going to be a rectangle in the XY plane. So we make sure that the uh, drawing is clipped to the axis. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a set of dimensions, which are going to uh, define the height and the width of our rectangle. This is a horizontal dimension for instance. And we're going to create two vertical dimensions as well. One for the overall width and one to make sure that the rectangle is centered. And so according to the dimensions in our schematic, which were all in millimeters, um, we set the following dimensions. So the rectangle is going to be 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters and centered around the axis. And now once we've done that and we generate it, If we zoom in, we see that this is the correct shape. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude it to create the pad, which is going to be the channel. And we just fix the dimension we want in the Z direction. In this case, 60 millimeters and we generate it. So as you can see, we have our shape in the right axis configuration with the right dimensions. And this is going to be the basis of our square channel.
The next thing we have to do, as the ICFD solver and LS Dyna only interpret surfaces rather than uh, solid parts, we're going to have to change the part body we've created to different sets of surfaces. In this case, we're going to create four surfaces, one for the inlet, one for the outlet, one for the wall, and one for the flap. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a concept tool which detaches surfaces from the solid. The way we can do that is if we go into concept, surfaces from faces, and then for example, we're going to select the inlet, click apply, generate, and that's going to create a surface which is separate just for our inlet. And just out of clarity, we're going to rename it. So here we have our inlet. We're going to hide that body to make sure we don't reselect it. And then we're going to select our other face, which is going to be our outlet, using the same procedure. Surfaces from faces, selecting that face, and then clicking Generate. So now we have two extra faces. This one we're going to rename. I'm going to hide it as well to make sure that we don't reselect that one. And now using Control A, but deselecting the inlet and the outlet, now we're going to create one set of surfaces, which is the wall. So not using the surfaces from Sketch Tool. Now we have another set of faces, which we're going to name the wall. We're going to hide that body once again. And now we're going to go on to creating the leaflet, which is going to be in the middle of the square channel. Again, we're going to use a sketch tool for this one. But the first thing we have to do is we have to create a new plane, which is going to be a transformation of XY and the way we do that is we go into create new plane with the base plane XY but however it will have a um, an offset in the Z direction which is going to be 30 millimeters and then once we've set up that plane we're going to have the basis to create our sketch. Once we've clicked Generate, we can click on our new plane. And then if we go in Sketching, again using the same technique we've used before, we're going to select the Rectangle tool, make sure we clip it to the axis, And then we're going to constrain it with a set of dimensions. So, for example, here there's going to be a horizontal dimension, which we set. And then, once again, two vertical dimensions.
now you can see we have the shape of the leaflet that we want it's in the middle of the channel and we're going to use another tool to create a surface from that sketch and the way we do that is we go into the concept tools we go into surface from sketches and we apply it to the sketch we've just created So now as you can see we do have the four sets of surfaces which we needed the last one we're going to rename as flat which is the leaflet and now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to suppress the solid to make sure it isn't outputted so here you can as we save you can see quite clearly there is our different sets of surfaces and then there's our flap just in the middle of this 